See, look, I'm a little bit of a connoisseur of Gundam. I mean, I like Godzilla, I like robots, what's not the love, you know? Uh, you know and, if I, and if I find it attractive, you know, you could just mind your own business. You could just mind your own business. God, I love fucking The motherfucking world is a ghetto, full of magazines, full clips, and heavy metal when there's smoke shadow. Setting the parameters. That's really the hard part. Adolescence. One of the few times in a boy's life where you could express yourself without shame or scrutiny. Though it doesn't come without its fair share of drawbacks. Love, solitude, envy, hatred are all bad things, but these are the emotions that make up childhood. Life comes at you fast, whether you want it to or not. You just kind of have to roll with the cards you get dealt with. It seems nonsensical and weird, but wraps into something that turns out to be a bigger picture. In the long run, it's growth. It's scary, I know, but something that's also unavoidable. Being a kid is hard and no one gives you credit for it. You strive more and more each day to be something you're not, losing yourself in that facade of pseudo-adulthood. You wanna be big, bigger than you are now. Don't you wish you could be different? Not having shoes to fill. Don't you wish you could change? Do you wish you were more mature? Let's be honest here, and I'm not just fucking percolating, alright? Fooly Cooly, without a doubt, is a masterpiece and forever will be. It was arguably Studio Gainax's magnum opus. The cream of the crop, the apple of my eye, the basilisk of hope! Fooly Cooly is like a needle in a haystack dropped to the bottom of the ocean and dug three miles deeper. One of a kind. Well, actually, no it isn't. I'm lying. Let me explain. Among Fooly Cooly, Studio Gainax has made several other amazing works, ranging from Evangelion to Gurren Lagann, and to fucking Panty and Stocking. Isn't that crazy? Going from bleak depression ridden desolate hope, to fucking cock jokes and sweet flavored panties. It's amazing. But the funny thing is, FLCL was made to be a detox for the people who worked on Ava. Sort of like a little side project of what was going to be the greatest anime of all time. And Gurren Lagann, one of the only animes to embrace death so well that it rejuvenates its characters in a whole new light. But... FLCL was the only project that actually stuck out to me, and stayed with me from when I first saw it. But I'll get into that later. With its amazingly weird story and great comedic value, it really isn't hard to see why I was so infatuated with it. So... Fooly Cooly is about a 12-year-old boy named Nauta, who gets hit on the head with a bass guitar by a girl on a moped with magic powers from space. Then he develops this bump on his head, which he can transform into these big robots, but with one friendly robot named Conti, who fights the other robots that also come out of his head and stuff. Okay, stay with me, okay? Nauta develops a crush on the alien girl, which his name is Haruko, and tries to conceal her from this big eyebrowed government agent guy, while trying to help her find her space pirate boyfriend, who just so happens to steal planets and destroy them. All while still having to live with his psychotic dad who is in love with the same alien girl. And on top of that, he has to deal with his brother's ex-girlfriend who is also in love with him. But other than that, shit just happens for no reason. At one point they could be chilling by a river, and another they could be fighting Nazis in a field, and another they could blow up a hospital by pretending to be a nurse with a Tommy gun, and still have more robot fights. It's ludicrous and wild, but somehow it doesn't divert from the plot, which of there is very fucking little. There's a hand that's also a gun, which is also a cowboy, that starts picking up a huge iron and starts flattening the world. It's so fucking crazy, but it's so good. 
it sort of distracts you from the underlying meaning of the show, making it so that you have to watch it over and over and over to even get a glimpse of what it's actually about. The character designs and the funny subplots, it actually somehow translates manga panels into the show in its first fucking episode. I could go on and on about how good it looks, but I have a friend that's a little bit more equipped than me to talk about art style. So without further ado, here is Large Black Male. Oh shit, I'm in a Smeet video? Oh fuck no! What is that thing? Ah! You know what, either way, I guess I have to talk about this pretty cool anime called Fooly Cooly. Since, you know, Smeef sort of strapped me down and we sat through this anime together. Kind of put a gun to my head, literally. But I kind of sort of watched it when I was already a small little black fella. I can at the very least say I enjoy what I watched and nigga, what I watched surprisingly was more cool than I fucking expected. Shit, that honestly had a nigga thinking, damn, this shit crazy for real. I can sit here and divulge into the story and all the symbolism all fucking day and night, but that would just be me repeating what our friendly neighborhood Smeef accurately told us. Probably, but I would honestly rather talk about the show's art style and overall vibe. And nigga, when I say this, I can't stress this enough. I fucking love this show's sense of style and just everything that goes into making it as crazy as it fucking is. It just mind-numbingly goes fucking hard for no reason at all and brings up a lot of questions on what the fuck is actually happening. A good chunk of the show, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I feel this very concept ties directly into what's happening in the story and, well, what we see going on with the characters. From the very first episode, Fooly Cooly has some of the most explosive animation you'll fucking dream of seeing and pays homage to so many different art styles and media that you couldn't fucking stop seeing references every episode. Plus, with everything that it references, it uses it to convey the story and the feels that these characters go through all the time. Or it's just all over the place, like, really? all over the fucking place. Also South Park for some reason. This show is pretty fucking weird, but honestly, I found that really beautiful, you know? In a strange sort of way. Wait, what the fuck? Why am I getting so fucking sentimental all of a sudden? Oh great, this nigga finna fucking cry his ass off. I'm out of this bitch. With media in general, I always like to look at what it conveys and what it can help me change about myself. I would scan around me and look at my surroundings, attaching onto what felt most like me. But sometimes, that's not always for the best. Change can be great and enthralling, don't get me wrong, but it can also be hazardous and detrimental for an upbringing. It can make you do fucked up things and stuff you're not proud of. Hell, when I was younger, I watched so many adult shows and was surrounded by even more adults than peers my own age. It sort of molded me into this little gremlin child who felt so entitled to his own self-assurance of his maturity. I had no idea who I was or what I wanted to be, and that in itself was really scary. I had no idea what relationships were or how to act around people. I was this insecure mess of a kid who made sure to change who he was every second. I used big buzzwords to make me seem older, and I took up bad habits like drinking fizzy drinks and swearing. It wasn't good. It wasn't good at all. I was living in a state of mind I wasn't ready for. Big shoes to fill with tiny feet. Felt like I was falling, and I couldn't get up. Sinking. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I wasn't mature. Look, I'm sorry I lied to you, but Fooly Cooly isn't just nonsense. From first look it may seem like that, but it's not. Just like this video. It's actually about growth and maturity. Or lack thereof or need to be. See, in Fooly Cooly, stuff does just happen for no reason. But that doesn't make it the slightest bit meaningless. No, actually it's far from that. From fighting with your dad to feeling jealous. Fighting Nazis, secret government agents, giant space pirates, 
all in one childlike imagination. Developing crushes, weird love triangles. You want to act better than that, but you can't. It's not structured, but it doesn't need to be. You do things to try and want to break out of that and seem more mature like Naota does, but you don't need to. Because you're a kid in a world of dishwashing robots, growing cat ears, and flying mopeds. You may want to conquer the world by conquering the left, but you don't need the force change when it happens without even you knowing it. Embrace what is to come and enjoy what you are, because it won't last forever. Just be you. Be who you are. You can prepare for the future and still do what you love while being a kid. All you need to do is start. Setting the parameters. That's really the hard part. Sorry for getting so sentimental in that last bit, but I guess you guys are kind of used to it. That's usually how my videos go. Anyways, thank you to Jalil or Large Black Male for featuring in this video. We watched it together and it was so fun. Also, subscribe to Down Bad Boys. Jalil is in it! We're in a group channel with my friends and we do a podcast, we do gaming videos, we do, we do whatever. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe drop a cheeky like, drop a cheeky comment, I don't know. It's me for the Putney and so I'm doing it myself. Hi everyone. I don't know, I don't know. But anyways, I'm Smeef and I'll see you later. Damn, Haruko. Got all the ass.